So we're using angular momentum today to calculate some quantities um, about planets in this, and their movement in our solar system, which is a really interesting way to use angular momentum. Um, so this problem asks us to calculate the angular momentum of the Earth in two ways. Um, one, its orbit around the sun, and one, its spin, its rotation. And so we have to do a couple of things before we can do angular momentum. First of all, we take the angular velocity of the Earth in orbit, which is one revolution per year, right? And then we convert that to radians per second, and you get 2.0 times 10 to the negative 7 radians per second. Um, and then you do the same thing with the Earth's spin on its axis. It's one revolution per day. That ends up being 7.3 times 10 to the negative fifth radians per second. So then we know, a, we know some things about the Earth. We know the mass of the Earth. We know the radius of the Earth. And we know the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Get all that in our standard units. And those are all of our givens. We've got those written right here. Um, and then we know that the question is asking for the angular momentum of the Earth spinning on its axis and the angular momentum of the Earth in its orbit. So the things that we want to know, the, the equations that we want to use, we want to use angular momentum equals I omega. And then we have to know the, the moments of inertia. We're going to treat the Earth in orbit as a point mass. And the, there's a couple of reasons for that, but basically it's because the Earth in its orbit is so far away from the sun that we can treat it like a point mass. Um, so that's I equals mr squared. And then when it's spinning, we want to know the moment of inertia of a, of a sphere, which is 2 fifths mr squared. OK, so let's plug in what we know. Let's start with the orbit. Um, like I said, it's a point mass. So it's I times omega. You fill in all that you know. Remember, when you put it in your calculator, you put that little e, right? And you plug all these numbers in, the mass of the Earth, the radius, the, Earth, the radius of the Earth's orbit, which is 1.5 times 10 to the 11th, make sure and square it, and the angular velocity, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 7th. Plug that in and you get that the angular momentum of the Earth in its orbit is a huge number, 2.7 times 10 to the 40th kilogram meters per second. Do the same process with the Earth and its axis, right? We know it's spinning. It's a spinning sphere. So we put, this is I. This is your moment of inertia. 2 fifths mr squared. And then the angular velocity of the Earth spinning on its axis. Plug that in right here. And you get that the angular momentum of the Earth spinning on its axis is 1.8 times 10 to the 34th. You can see that I just checked my work. And I had made a little mistake in there. So always make sure to check your work. So our solution is that we've got actually six orders of magnitude difference between the angular momentum of the Earth spinning in its orbit and the Earth spinning on its axis. So that's a pretty interesting way to think about angular momentum. And I hope this helps you when you're working your homework problems.